All right, because this dog has been sitting pretty, I will finish off by letting you have your treat. You don't like it? Oh my god! I've never seen such a yeah. Oh, take very gentle. Oh, you're gonna go away with it? Yeah, yeah. Shy. Okay. Bye. You better eat that, cause I wanted that. Don't worry about what's happening over there. Eat your. Wow. Can you believe this shit? I can. Eat good, live well, stay true. Oh, where you been at, Black Hoodie? <laughs> I'm in a different setting outside. I don't know if you can hear the nature. Bird. Light falling rain. There's a golden retriever right here behind me, begging for food. Hello? No, she's. Oh, camera shy. Okay. So, anyways, chilling at my sister's crib, and I was just like, went and got my like childhood favorite like it just i hit it every time i come here it's my delicious treat you guys have seen it on my video i've made it myself uh and it comes in of course the most like greasy ghetto sack brown sack and what it is is coney dogs so detroit is best known for them but yes i have done them on my channel and uh, I got a whole setup of them here. And I don't know if I've ever told this story on this channel before at all or whatever, but I just kind of want to give the backdrop about this, like just me and this food and like just a story regarding the guy who owned it and just how he was kind of like the hot dog Nazi. There's like soup Nazi, but then hot dog Nazi was him. But uh, I'm gonna unwrap here and just kind of give you a little showdown. I got, I'm in a mini, mini, I'm in a mini hurricane. A, all my bags are flying around and everywhere. So they call me like these wax paper, super classic. And then you just unravel and you get right into the gold. If you hear something happening, the bag just blew off and the dog is now chewing up the bag. So there's that. And then it's this. Not the most appetizing looking thing in the world. Onions. And then it has this meat sauce in it. It's a thing of beauty in my mind. He hits it with mustard on the bun, but I like to hit it with a little extra. So let's just do that. There we go. First bite, let's get right up close. Not going to focus in. Oh, there we go. Kind of see it there. You guys have no idea. Wow. Oh, I miss these so much. Absolutely incredible. There's just something about the process of when you go get it and they put it in the bag and they put in the wrapper and like the sauce just sits in there and it like incubates for a while. I'm in food heaven right now. Like I know it's like just a hot dog, but it's not. sauce is everything so savory just so rich almost like a sweetness to it a little bit of a spice it's amazing oh don't mind if I do
Actually, pretty good dog. You don't really beg that much. You are not the legend of beggar vans. Because you are so good, you will get a bite at the end. That's right. I'm a nice guy. Obviously, I became obsessed with this place when I was a kid. Like, uh, my dad used to take me and we'd hit it up, have a milkshake, and because they sell milkshakes. They sell milkshakes, burgers, ha hot dogs, and toast. Toast is 85 cents. So there's that. Um, so obviously, I get addicted to it as a kid, but then not until mm, my like high school years did I really start like flexing this muscle of like just my love for this. I just, I want to say mainly because I had independence and I could go get it myself. And uh, um, I want to say the other main reason is because I started smoking weed and I would just get baked as fuck in my room um, or me and my buddies would get baked as fuck and we'd go and pick it up. And back then I remember like a hot dog cost, the inflation has been crazy. They've like tripled, but, but I mean, back when I was in high school, they were like, I want to say it's like $1.50 for a do hot dog or something like that. It's lit. So excited. So me and my buddies would always just get super baked. And like Sunday was our ritual. Like we'd always kind of go on the end of the weekend. So at a certain point, I was eating this shit once a week, every Sunday for like years of my life. And I don't regret a single moment. But I specifically remember my bedroom was on like the very, very top floor of my house, almost like attic styles. And we used to make what's called a popper out of like a water bottle and like a little metal tube. And we would just sit up in my room and like pack little bowls like and blow out the window and like with even with our parents on my shit and just like kind of make it seem like it was we, so we didn't have to go outside and smoke a joint and shit it was just sneaky sneaky smoke in the house but you could always like even though it was like you think you like clear the chamber blow out the window there would always be residual smell in the house we're so ridiculous And then we just, because it was only like two or three blocks from my house, this place. Walk there. Grab our dogs, always to go. I usually would get three. If I was feeling crazy, I'd get four. Today I got four, three all fully loaded, and one just ketchup for dessert. That's my dessert dog. So yeah, we go there and you always get it to go. Now this place is owned by an old Greek man. Named Gus. And he owned and operated this place for ever. And he was like renowned in the city as this like coney dog legend but he was very like strict no bullshit guy like come in you follow order policy you don't fuck around you don't ask for too many things it's like his way of the highway he runs a show um and if you stray from that he's gonna basically hot dog not to you soup not to you either kick you out for the moment or give you a lifetime ban essentially because he don't need your business because the business is booming and he don't have time for bullshit which I can kind of get behind that style of business, to be honest with you. Because it's like, you know what? If my shit's this popular and I'm making all kinds of racks off these dogs, then I don't really need your fuckery in my business. So I'm kind of down with that. So anyways, one day me and my buddy go, we're like turbo baked. I'm like 15 years old. And I know the rules of the road. 
I know how the show runs. Like I'm not an idiot. I've I have many practices runs at this, and I'm like, I just go up. I say my order. My, well, my buddy says his order first. His is not complicated at all because he doesn't get or he gets everything loaded. At this time, I was a little bitch and I was afraid of onions. Don't know how I was ever afraid of onions because I love onions now. But back then, I hated onions, and so I would get just the coney sauce, no onion. So I requested three dogs, no onion. Makes my friend's order, bags it up, starts making mine, gets to the end of the line, they're all onion, and I had the audacity to pipe up and go, uh, excuse me, I, I actually requested no onion. This man's was not having it. I love these hot dogs. He was not having it. He snapped on me and was like, I was like, little boy, I have no time for games. You get out and you stay out. And in that moment, my world just crumbled. Because I was a full heroin hot dog addict at this point. I'm like, I can't exist anymore without, I can't have, not have my Sunday hot dogs and my Sunday ritual with the boys. Like, I need these dogs. Friend gets his order. I don't get shit. Walk out devastated. Didn't get to eat. And I was just living in like this alternate reality of just like, what's happened to my world? Like I'm, my life is over. So I figured I'll lay low for like a good bunch of months. Cause he's so fucking old that I'll eventually forget me. So I did, I hit out, I got through the withdrawals, I made it through, I did not die, and I went back, and luckily enough, he had, he had forgotten me, and uh, I, I was able to, obviously now, as you can see, return, and I'm actually now like, his son that took over the business, and his son's like maybe, I don't know, 50, because uh, he died and him and I are like tight because he like knows my aunt and shit apparently so the dessert dog there's something even just magical about the just ketchup dog like I can't really place it but it is just the simplicity of it. Another fun fact, he used to stack the dogs up his arm all the way, like, way up. Like, I'm talking, like, ten dogs. And he used to just sauce them. Because it was, like, business booming, right? And eventually, as time went on, as, like, health codes got regulated and shit like and it wasn't the fucking 50s and anymore uh they came in and were like you can't be stacking hot dogs up to your like pit essentially because that is just not <laughs> like health safety at all right so but everybody used to say that the magic and the flavor came from his forearm I'm going to have to tend to agree a little bit. Since he died, it's not quite the same. So his his actual sweat had an impact, you know? Till the next one. Eat good. Live well. Stay true.